So I'm just trying to sum up a few impressions. So it's one space and everything happens together with everything else. So we're in the middle of it and me, this life, is one emergent episode in this larger story. And this episode is being formed and created at the moment and my responsibilities for how this particular body can be played out. So if there is an individual consciousness simply personally from this body's perspective then the primary purpose of that kind of individual consciousness would be the direction of this form of life into a kind of life which is as good as possible. So what is the backdrop of this story? Apparently from what is estimated On this planet, there was already forms of life which had began to emerge about three billion years ago. Which means three thousand million years. Approximately, of course, since it's impossible to know such things precisely. But everything points towards there having been a very, very long process. where the development of life into ever new and interesting forms has been a gradual process. At some points during this process the forms of life of the human beings have get began to emerge and among the human beings the forms of communal human existence together in larger groups the larger groups of people have formed higher levels of agencies, organizations and populations. And there's also been a development through culture of knowledge mindware information
so what we can see is emergent structures among structures and within structures and between structures where all of the structures are always being restructured and where we are personally restructuring ourselves so we are restructuring ourselves and restructuring our environments and the smaller units within so we are made of many many small worlds and we are small parts of a larger world and it goes all the way up and all the way down much further than anyone can see or understand however that may be the way we actually exist ourselves will then inevitably have enormous consequences for all of the life on the smaller scales and all of the life on the larger scales and there will be influences across dimensions and across space or the time-space continuum and those influences will go all around the whole planet and will have to do with the entire ecosystem with every single person and every other life form and even every chemical reaction and every system interaction where all of it will play out together in one dynamic continuum so every single behavior that any of us takes in the light of all this will be impactful it will be meaningful one way or another even if we can't see how it will be meaningful we can see that it will be meaningful so what does this mean it means that how I live my life matters it really matters it matters for me more than anything could matter for me and it matters for all of the smaller life forms within me whatever it could mean that something matters for them and it matters for all of the other life forms on the whole planet the entire life on planet earth the whole ecosystem all of the people all of the species all of the chemical and biological populations the entire atmosphere the process all of this will be influenced one way or another by how each of us personally chooses to be so what does it mean to choose well if it means anything it has to mean something now and I can do my best I can try to be as awake to the situation as I can and I don't really have to worry about 
exactly what forces are influencing me. Because I can see that the fact of the matter remains that at the moment I am existing and that at the moment life is existing and life is in in a process it is um, in action it's being enacted so I just I just have to worry about how I am I don't even have to worry about whether free will exists or not because that's just uh, a way for me to be I can ask that question and by asking that question I am delivering an answer and that is the answer to the fundamental question of all questions which is who I will be or how I will be or what I will be the same thing the the way it will be and if I am in this way I know that will influence everyone else and I don't have to think about how that's not my concern it's impossible for me to answer and there's no point trying to answer it it's simply not my business my business is who I am and that is the creation of an entire microcosmos within the larger cosmos and that entire microcosmos is totally meaningful in itself even without having to speculate about how it influences the rest apart from the fact that I can see that it does influence the rest the details and how it influences the rest I don't know and I don't have to know and once again I return to the same basic question which is how will I be now and it's always now. Even the past and the future is now. When something happened in what is called the past, it was now when it happened. And when we're now speaking about the past, we are now speaking about the past. And it is a reflective activity on data which has been accumulated from experience. And when we are now speaking about the future, we are now speaking about the future. And the future is being decided by how we are now. So if I now, for some reason or other, begin to be in a certain way, then from that act alone an entire new path of a future is coming into existence through the way I am So this is the key issue. This is really the only major question I have to answer. How will I be? And if I can do my part, others will do their part. And I will do my part, and others will do their part. And this will happen in any case. 
and if I talk about what I think that the others should do, then that act of me talking about what I think the others should do is what I do. And if I feel that I should do something better than talking about what other people do, and I try to do something better than talk about what other people can do, then at that moment already I am doing something else. And a different future is emerging. A different future for me, which means a different future also for the entire sphere of life. So all this seems to boil down to something I come back to it many times in this talk and it, but it really seems to be the essential question what now what to do now how to be now how should I be now how to live And whether I ask you like that or in a different way, I am answering it in any case. There's no way to not answer it. So we are all answering it, and we are all answering the deepest existential questions. Whatever way we do it, whatever we choose to call it, however we choose to live, we are choosing to live and we are giving a response to the conditions of our existence. So. Who am I saying this? Well, this emerges as can be seen as one process. It is a process within the larger process and it emerges together with all the other processes. So there is this organism called Glen, but the Glen that is the name and the name is something that's happened and a, a pattern within it all. But the process of life of this organism is a process going together with the process of life of all of the other organisms in the sphere of life. This voice which is now saying these words are being expressed through this organism and therefore takes on the perspective of this organism, the place the organism exists, and the specifics of how the organism has been formed. And as mentioned, with the particular point of interest, based on this question, how can I be now? And as this is being asked by this organism, it will um, it will also answer 
the question through the behavior of this organism and of course the continuation of the talking is a part of the continuation of the behavior of this organism so this is one sense of the word I if I say this as Glenn Gosland then it is said as a reference to the general activity of this life form, this organism, this process, which will span one human lifetime. But then, of course, there is awareness in a more general sense that also I as Glenn can be aware of phenomena where I can get an impression that others are also aware in similar ways and that the awareness itself is Is something which exists many many places and in many uh, ways at the same time and there may be some basic commonalities in how this awareness is being acted out but once again Maybe I'm a little bit on on a journey here. Beyond what is strictly necessary. The only question which can be answered and which must be answered by any single human being is the question of what kind of an existence that human being will be what kind of a life form will it express will it manifest And that all other questions which this life form may ask will always be a way of answering the basic question. So if the life form asks, what is the truth about nature in general then the act of asking that question is the answer that that being gives about who that being will be so Every question is a part of this one question, the question of being. So it's all about being. Being in one way or another. And the being will change the entire being and the entire future of all being so how will it be 